reveal a cell. We will celebrate Mother Tongue's Day, International Mother Tongue's Day. It's a wonderful day and also special days because without mother, we will never uh, speak like what we uh, did, what we done today, right? So um, without any further ado, I would like to invite Teacher Winnie or maybe Teacher Nadia. Teacher Nadia, yes. Okay. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, not to say. Excuse me. So, uh, dear friends, uh, today we are, so yesterday was the 21st of February and we celebrated International Mother Language Day and uh, um, some students who participated in the uh, poetry recital, they uh, played the Kahoot to learn about this festival. So here is a special Kahoot to tell you the story behind the International Mother's Day. Join, play, and learn. Okay, students and also teacher, please don't log Kahoot it. We often play Kahoot during the sessions. That's why you can uh, upload uh, download this upload on the text to file. Also welcome to join in. I'm well, I'll keep silent because I just did it yesterday. <laughs> yes, please mute your mics, everyone. Is the same question? Eight, uh, eight, nine, eight, eight, five, two, seven. This is the uh, game pin. You will see it at the, in the bottom right corner during the game, and you can join in if you are out. Yeah, yeah. So you will learn, play, and you will have fun. So we are uh, we are um, greeting you in the. International Children Readers Theatre, and today we are talking and reading about mother languages. Please don't write the, the telephone number, please write your name, because in case you win, you won't get the certificate. You will be in public knowing. Write your real name. Name, maybe it's your name of the country. So, one more minute and we start. So, we have got teachers and students on board. So yes, and I guess I will start. International Mother Language Day, you will see the code in the bottom right corner. So languages are the most powerful instruments of preserving and developing our tangible and intangible heritage. When we speak about literature, uh, stories and poems, they belong to intangible heritage of the culture. So International Mother Language Day uh, is celebrated on the 21st of February. It was, uh, fun, it was uh, proclaimed by the UNESCO uh, in 1999 on the initiative of Bangladesh, and it aims at promoting um, the preservation and protection of all languages used by people of the world. So International Mother Day is on what date? Please mute your mics. Teacher Winnie, do you hear the sound? Yes. Okay. Let's type in the number, the date when International Mother Language Day is celebrated. is on the 21st of January, February, excuse me, February. Yes, Parish is in the first place. 
So now, what country initiated the International Mother Language Day? This is the flag of the country. Bangladesh, yes, and nine, nine of you guessed it right, Bangladesh, you remember. So, uh, in the capital of Bangladesh, Dhaka, you can see this monument called the Shahid Minar or Matya Monument that commemorates uh, the Bang Bang Bengali people who gave their lives uh, during the Bengali language movement for the right to talk their mother tongue, to speak their mother tongue. The monument is Dhaka is called. You can choose three answers. The Shahid Minar, the Machia Woman, the Mausoleum, the Rising Sun. It's the name of this monument. So yes, these are the names of the monument. Parisha keeps the lead. So this year, the theme of the International Mother Language Day is using technology for multilingual learning challenges and opportunities. You know that during the pandemic, many teachers, many educators uh, use different technologies to sustain uh, quality education. So and what is the role of languages? Here is a short video for you. It's essential to our well-being. Languages allow us to exercise our human rights and fundamental freedoms. They are vital to our daily existence and to building human connections. Through language, we can preserve our history, customs and traditions, convey our thoughts, express ourselves in a language of our choice and build our future. Worldwide, there are over 7,000 languages in use, and many of these are... So yes, here comes the... Oh, excuse me. Yes, how many languages are there in the world? It's type in your numbers. And say thank you in many languages. Seven thousand languages spoken in the world. Yes, all in all, the recent statistics. So, multi-select. An indigenous language is spoken by whom? This language is spoken by native people, people of the world, Aboriginal people who speak indigenous languages. The language is spoken by the local people, the native, the Aboriginal people. Here you come to the third place. So here is a video about language. indigenous languages. Excuse me. Indigenous peoples worldwide. This is happening for a number of different reasons. Increased global. So excuse me. Indigenous languages worldwide are under threat. And why? Here are the reasons. Globalization, urbanization, migration, climate change, and many other factors are impacting the well-being of language communities and so so you see indigenous languages are in danger. So uh, they are under threat. It So yes, and here comes question 13, multi-select. 
What impacts global languages? What are the reasons for the dying out of global languages, indigenous languages, minority languages? Climate change, globalization, civilization, migration, so yes, all of these four reasons are influencing the languages worldwide. Arish is on fire. So, uh, uh, to address this trend and building on the 2019 International Year of Indigenous Languages, the United Nations has proclaimed the period 2022 to 2032 as the International Decade of Indigenous Languages, with UNESCO. So this uh, decade aims at ensuring indigenous people's right to preserve, revitalize and promote their languages. So, and now we are, go so today we are going to read The Song of Hiawasa. It was written by Henry Longfellow, an American poet, and you can see an indigenous person, an, a Native American. And we will read uh, a p the piece, which is called Peace Pipe. And here are some ideas to be discussed. So Gichi Manito called the nations, the tribes of men together. The Peace Pipe. On the mountains of the prairie, on the great red pipe stone quarry, Gichi Manito, the mighty, he, the master of life, descending on the red crags of the quarry, stood erect and called the nations, called the tribes of men together. So the question is, why did Gichi Manito call the nations to come together? To start a war, to make peace, or to throw tomahawks? Yes, he wanted the nations to make peace, to stop fighting. How many nations came to the council? Down the rivers, over the prairies, came the warriors of the nations. Came the Delawares and Mohawks. Came the Choctaws and Comanches. Came the Shoshnees and Blackfeet. Came the Pawnees and Omahas. Came the Mandans and Dakotas. Came the Hurons and Ojibwes. All the warriors drawn together by the signal of the peace pipe. So how many nations have you calculated? Type the answer. How many nations, tribes came to Gichi Manito's council? Peace council. Twelve tribes came to the council. So came the Delawares and Mohawks, came the Chokwas and Comanches, the Shoshones and Blackfeet, came the Ponies and Omawas, came the Mandans and Dakotans, came the Hurons and the Ojibwes. That makes all in all twelve nations, twelve tribes. So and according to the United Nations, the dissemination of mother tongues will serve not only to encourage linguistic diversity and multilingual education, but also to develop fuller awareness of linguistic and cultural traditions throughout the world. So today we are striving at, uh, so we are going to uh, to learn your, uh, so some traditional uh, cultural piece from the world. So here comes the podium. Runners up. So now, 
So after the session, a teacher uh, Amy and teacher Yuri will issue certificates during the week. And now, thank you for playing the game. Now you know uh, something about language, uh, mother language, Tan, uh, mother language day. And now I want you to think about peace. So because Gichi Manito wanted peace to be on earth. And how do you say peace in different languages? I will open, excuse me, I will open the, uh, where is my, yes, Mentimeter. I will share the, so yes, I will share the link with you. Just a second. Okay. And you will vote. There are two questions. So number one is, what do you say peace in your language? And number two is, uh, what do you, uh, what language do you speak? I will share this in the chat box. Just a second. Uh, just okay. a second. You vote. Yes, excuse me, DJ Nadia. I would like to uh, speak with the DJ Diana. DJ Diana Samal, can you hear me? Yes, please. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, previously, there was a mistake that the teacher Amy make you a host. Would you please to return the host to teacher Amy? Okay, uh, wait. Okay, thank you so much. So click the participants and make teacher Amy as host. Thank you. Now, I will share. Just a second, I will share the screen and we will see. So you, we will see, yes, we will see the results of your vote. Uh, just a second, yes. Uh, so question number one is how do you say peace in the mother tongue? Yes, please write the word peace in your mother tongue. And question number two, please write the language you speak. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Mom, it is showing that the slide has not changed. Please wait for the Please presentation speak. to show uh, the next slide. Uh, Marashi, I think you can write on the given link that's the uh, piece in your mother language. What is it? So you can write it down. Yes. So you we, we can say peace in many languages. And Lapa, I think it is French or what? How do you say this? The blue. It is the biggest. Man, so uh, yes, this is not the language. This is the this is the word peace in your mother tongue. And uh, this the second slide is about the name of your mother language. What language do you speak? Can you write the name? Mom, the slide has not changed. It's showing. Has not changed. All right. I don't know how can I do it. <laughs> All right. Now, at least we can see that uh, we can speak peace in different languages. Maybe I'm not good at Mentimeter. No. Okay. Okay. I think we will not uh, waste much time doing this. I know that teacher Winnie is good at uh, Mentimeter. <laughs> I am a bit puzzled, confused. Now, uh, thank you, dear friends, for your um, ability to speak your mother tongue, mother language. And yeah. now we are going uh, to pass over to the piece of uh, traditional uh, American, Native American uh, poem, uh, which is called The Son of Hiawatha. So I think I will stop sharing. I play music here. I will stop sharing the screen. Yes, I stopped sharing. And now it's over to you, teacher Yuri. Ma'am? Okay. Yes. Yes, Hasini? Mama, I will see the link, ma'am. Okay, the link is on the chat, but we we will continue what to... That link, what uh, is that link, ma'am? Uh, that is Mentimeter that you can write uh, P 
please on your mother tongue uh, okay. language. Okay, thank okay. you so much. So you can do it later. And let's okay. see uh, how many languages that uh, say peace in the different mother tongue. Thank different you. Different languages. Mm -hmm. Okay, over to you, teacher Winnie. Wow, that's lovely. Okay, I, I think we should give a big, uh, you know, clap, uh, clapping for teacher Nadia. Yeah, so pre prepare so informative the knowledge about the language mother uh, language day. Yeah, so we see the piece, uh, lots of uh, different languages and also the pieces in different, but no matter what the language you are speaking, I think we are all in the same world, same platform. Yeah, thank you, teacher Nadia. Okay, so now I think all the educators and students, we are going to have a breakout room. So while teacher Uri, uh, so I'm wondering that the breakout room ready or not? Okay, did you have me breakout room ready? Yeah, did... and also before we go to the breakout room, yeah, so educator and student, you are uh, educator, you are welcome to join as a facilitator uh, with the moderator yes. host. And student, you can play the narrator. And yeah, let's enjoy and doing your best effort to read this wonderful uh, story done by teacher Olga and teacher Nadia. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. yes. Uh, ma'am, can I ask what we have to do in the breakout room? Read the script, dear. Mm -hmm. So the facilitator will uh we'll share the script and you oh, yeah okay, you can thank you yeah, you just okay. join the breakout room there is a moderator a teacher nadia or me uh, will be there so it's just like a play a reader <laughs> script together okay so you just go to the session okay breakout room we will show you how Okay, well, Amy, would you please to assign us to the breakout room because the breakout room it said that all breakout room will be closed. Okay, thank you so much. Can you sing the song, ma'am? So now we have a uh, seven breakout room. So in the breakout room, we have a teacher. Uh, so uh, welcome all the teacher, you could be like a facilitator. And the student, we will share the how, the role, different narrator, you will have a different parts. Uh, so don't worry about uh, some language issue. So if you are not comfortable, read it out, uh, we will help you together. So the best, we are going to understand and enjoy the story okay, and practicing, doing our effort. Yes, I'm, I'm sending the breakout room too. Can you notice the breakout room, everyone? Uh, Yuri, is any uh, teacher company with me? Okay, you can go to... Because it's my first time to leave, so I'm, I'm not sure I can do the well, do the good job. Okay, you can... Uh, Okay, teacher Amy will assign you to the uh, breakout room with the <clears throat> other teacher, okay? Yeah, maybe so, I will be the facilitator. Not the yes, one. yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's wait for other so, uh, participants go to the breakout room. And teacher Amy, would you please to assign teacher for you to the uh, breakout room who has uh, one teacher? Yes, I have not got the invitation of the breakout room. Okay, so teacher Amy will uh, send you to the breakout room. Otherwise, you will stay in the main room, okay? Okay. Okay, see you then. Excuse me. So Amy, uh, are we stay? Are we staying here in this room? 
<laughs> yes, teacher Nadia. Yes. You should hear. And yeah. teacher Olga, you should join in breakout room five. Uh, but you asked me to. Yes, you asked me sorry. to. <laughs> yes, sorry, how sorry. Can I, how, how can I do it? Uh, I, I will choose. Okay, I will choose room five. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Dear friends, my camera is black. I will. I have switched it off. And now, uh, without further ado, dear dear participants, uh, young participants, especially young kids, we are going to read uh, this poem, The Son of Hayawasa. So the script is shared with your teachers. You can watch the video again. We saw some pieces of this video cartoon, uh, The Son of Hayawasa. So the peace pipe. So we are going to read it uh, by, by rows. We need 10 narrators. So all of them are different colors. So you will have to choose. We will choose narrator one, narrator two, and so on. So I take a sheet of paper. So which of you will be, okay. Pareshi, will you be narrator one, Pareshi? Yes, ma'am. Pareshi, number one. Um, Rosie. Rosie, Vietnam, will you be narrator two? Rosie, narrator two, can you? Uh, back from Vietnam, will you be narrator three? The brown color is yours. Jack from Vietnam, will you be narrator four? Narrator four. Then uh, we will see, I guess teachers will, will also read. So I need narrator five, uh, Asmirash, Asmirat, Asmisasri. Is it how do you pronounce your name? Asmi, ma'am. Asmit Hasri. Hasini, ma'am. My name is. So Asmit Hatri, you will read narrator five, will you please? Yes. Then. Yes. So, Hassini, Hassini, will you be narrator? Narrator six, will you please, narrator six? So, so any other students left? Oh, yes, I see Sinadi, Sinadi from Sri Lanka. Ma'am. Sinadi, will you be narrator seven, please? Then. Ma'am. Yes, yes. Dihemi, Dihemi from Sri Lanka. Will you be? Ma'am. Narita eight. Yes, your question, please. Okay, ma'am. Saori from Sh Sri Lanka. Saori. Yes, yes, please. What is your question about? No, ma'am. So what ma is your question? Please raise your hand. Who are you? Nana Hasini. What is your question about? Okay, we have got nine readers. Maybe teacher, teacher for you will you, teacher for you, will you will you be narrator ten for you? Ten. For you narrator ten. Yes. Okay, I will be. I will be. Yes. This is a poem. So please. Okay, now we start reading. So narrator one, Pareshi. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, Hasminiu, Hasminiu, what is your question about? Ma'am, my name is Hasminiu, ma'am. You are number six. I will give your name. I will call your name. Number is four, miss. Okay, I will read your parts. Please, shall we start? Shall we? Hasini. What, ma'am? Okay, please mute your mics and when your part comes, you unmute. Otherwise, we won't start reading. Okay, ma'am. We should be disciplined, you know. Pareshi, please, number one, narrator one. Yes, ma'am. On the mountains of the prayer, on the great red pipe stone quarry, Kichi Manito, the mighty. So then, Rosie, Vietnam. Rosie, Vietnam. Unmute yourself. Yes. I don't understand. Please read the, the green color. So narrator two, you're narrator two. He, the master of life, stood erect 
and called the nations, called the tribes of men together. We color the text in different colors. Every narrator has his color. You know, you are green. Narrator two. Narrator three, back from Vietnam. Um, you read, please. Narrator back. three, from the red stone of the quarry, with his hand, he broke the fur of man, and dead it into the pit head, set and fastened in the it, it with, with figures. Yeah, figures. Narrator four, Jack from Vietnam. I am read the narrator three. Four, yes, narrator four. Three. Yes, keep on. Five. Jack from Vietnam, read the narrator three. Okay. Jack, Jack, you so you read narrator four. Take Fill two. the pipe. With back of willow, with the back of willow, with the back of the red willow. Yes, narrator five, Asmit Hari. Kashi. Asmit Hashi. Read about the neighborhood. Forest, like the great forest, together to the place. It's very speaking there. And one hour. Breathed upon the neighboring forest, made its great boughs stay together. In its lay, they burst and kindled. So he started the he, he started smoking the peace pipe. Marita six, Cassini. Is erect upon the mountain with this monitor, the mighty smoke to accumulate the beast of high and the son of the nation waving like a hand and beckons. It beckons. Narita seven, Sinadi. Yeah, Manito, the mighty team of men together for the warriors to his house. Because the warriors to his towns, yes. Narita eight, the Himi. Down the river, all the grasses. Jack, please mute yourself, Jack. Of the nation. In the various of the nations came the Dilemas and Mohawks. Narita nine. Sayuni, Sayuni, Sayuri. Came the Tartar and Kamaches. Came the Sonosomnes and Blackfeet. Came the Konis and Owaha. Tartar ten. Came the Madans. Yes, Narita ten teacher for you. Came the Martin and the Dakota and the Horan and the Ojibwe. Yes. So you remember, 12 tribes came to the to speak about peace. <clears throat> Pareshi. Pareshi, please. All the warriors drawn together by the signal of the peace pipe. Rosie, Vietnam. Rosie, unmute your mic. Uh, Rosie, switch on your mic. I'm sorry. Yes. International Mother Language Day. The 21st of February in North Excuse me, my dear Rosie. Look at the screen. We are reading the poem. To the mountains of the prairie, to the great red pipestone quarry. Yes, narrator two. Narrator three. I don't know. Back, Back please. Um, Back from Vietnam. And they stood there on the middle, which they weapons, weapon, and they were and they were real. Yes, narrator. 
Can I? Yes, Jack, do please. Jack, unmute. Jack, switch on your mic. Jack, read. Narrator form. Ma'am, can you read, ma'am? Yes, please do. Dear, dear student, read. Hasini. Read, Hasini. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, any the stood uh, there on the meadow with their weapons on their war, war gear. Painted like the leaves of autumn, painted like the sky of morning, wildly glaring at each other. Okay. So here came the warriors. Narita five. I'm Natum. Can I narrate for five? Yes, do please. Yes, do. Each man is the mighty, the the creator of the nations. Looked upon them with compassion. Compassion. Yes. Hasini six. Ma'am, Hasini six. Yes, Hasini, do please. Okay. With Parallel love, and love. Pity, but as cruel among children, but as friends and fights of children. Yes. Ma'am? So, so you know, the warriors fought together and the Gichi Manito, the mighty, looked at upon them like children who fight, quarrel every day. Yes, narrator seven, please, Sinadi. Uh, over, the, over them, he stretched his right hand to subdue their stubborn natures. Narrator eight, the Hemi. Spoke to them with voice majestic as the sound of far off waters falling into deep abysses, warning, shedding, spoke in this voice. Yes, narrator nine, Sayuni, Sayuri. My children, my poor children, listen to the words of the them, listen to the words of warning from the lips of the great spirit from the master of life who made it. So yes, teacher, you, you. I have given you hands to hunt me. I have given you string to fishing. I have given you bear and the piston. I have given you row and the run. Yes. Are you there? Fill the river full of fishes. Uh, yeah, ma'am. Fill the rivers full of fishes. Why then are you not contented? Why then will you hunt each other? Yes, narrator two. Rosie, please unmute. Rosie. So, Rosie, I am wary of your quarrels, wary of your wars and bloodshed. But, number three. All your strength is in your union. All your danger is in discord. Therefore, be at peace and henceforward, and as brothers live together. Narrator four, Jack, unmute yourself, please. Neton, will you read narrator four? Okay, I will send a prop to you. I deliver of the nations who shall guide you and shall teach you. Yes, narrator five. Please ask me to help. Neton, just a few minutes, call me, please. Ma'am, can you read now? Night of five. Сейчас они пока не хотят. Сейчас будем есть. Сейчас. If you listen to his counsels, you will multiply and prosper. If his warnings pass unheeded, you will fade away and perish. Narrator six. Passini. 
Wash the blood stains from your fingers. Bury your war clubs and your weapons. Narrator 8. Man, can I narrator 8? Break the red stone with this quarry, mold and make it into peace pipe. Narrator 9. So you need take the reeds that grow beside you, deck them with two brightest feather, feathers. Narrator 10. Teach you for you. No, no. A monument together and as brothers leap and forward. So yes, that is uh, the main idea, I guess, of the poem. Uh, so that all the tribes speaking different languages, mother tongues, should not fight. They should smoke the peace pipe together and have peace. All right. Now, uh, teacher Amy, are we going to proceed or what? We have done the reading. Dear students, maybe you will share your ideas of the story, of the poem you read. What do you think about this, the poem? How do you like the poem? Is it interesting or is it difficult? Did you understand it? for you. Can you please? Uh, this, I don't know what to do. The, the kids are not talking. How can we make them talk? Okay, dear students, can you share your ideas about the poem? Who will speak about the poem? Your impression of the poem? How do you think uh, this pipe sounds like? Do you have? I was in breakout too, but I moved to room number four. <laughs> I'm curious, um, Nadia, that uh, what kind of the peace pipe? Because maybe students have no such kind of experience. Uh, for me, we, we have the you know the pipe. But I don't know that the uh, Indian pipe is just like their use in their music class. Um, I was in room number two, but I moved to room number four. <laughs> Hello, DJ Nadia. Uh, hello, hello Winnie. Hi, hi. Uh, teacher. Finish the narrator, Ken and Hector. But the students have no response to, you know, the, if maybe they have no idea about the peace pipe. Yeah, I mean, uh, here is the main room, right? Hi, teacher Olga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think today this is a quite interesting and informative, but that's okay. I think it's just a beginning. So after today's session, you can also search for, because the teacher Nadia and teacher Olga and teacher Uri, we prepare a web list. So I think uh, if you are interested about this topic, uh, you can just... Uh, Go and Google research. What is the peace pipe? Yeah, because uh, I think in the script, 
I think in my breakout room, uh, I think I, I believe that most of the students, they are doing their effort because uh, uh, it's really hard to uh, pronounce uh, some uh, native uh, American uh, tribe uh, uh, name. But I think uh, the, in the script, you can see teacher, they made a beautiful illustration go along with that. So I think it's just a beginning. So after today's session, definitely, I think you can just uh, dig in, okay, to explore more. So I think maybe everyone's imagination is different. So what is the peace pie? I think that's a very good question. Yes. So I would like to invite maybe a teacher Uri or Parishi, you know, here I have a, we have a little, you know, uh, uh, I would say that little scatter, Parishi, because yes, of her young age, she already got some like a, a many certificate, certificate, right? Like yes, a uh, okay, tell me, tell me about your, your certificate. You are learning digital. You are, you are, you, are, you have a many ambassador, right? Um, it's, uh, there are many. So mm -hmm. I don't, uh, yeah, I, I have many certificates. I don't remember them. So <laughs> I put them, I've put a few of in my regular profile. Uh, so let me just open. Okay. It, but uh, yeah, like I have Ed Puzzle Coach, one and two certified, Adobe Creative Educator, Wicklet Student Master, Flipgrid Student Ambassador, Wicklet Community Member, Minecraft Community Member, Wicklet Student Leader, Certified MIE, MIE ex Expert, and I'm participating in the Education Exchange this year too. Wow, it's a long list. You're <laughs> genius. How old are you? Wow. How old are you right now? <laughs> Yeah, my birthday was on in January, so I'm, I've turned 10. 10? Yeah. Yeah, 10. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. So surprisingly, so you're a genius. You you're I would like really to, a genius. Oh, my God. I would God. like to assign Parishi. Can you, can you find a piece of pie? I mean, the uh, teacher uh, first asked a question about what does it look like. So can you, uh, re I mean, research and finding some picture for us, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you are doing that, and when you are ready, just let us know. So teacher Urifa, over to you, because I see some, uh, they are kids, they raise their hand. So before we move to next, oh, yeah. so teacher Olga, would you like to say something? Olga, teacher Olga from Russia. <laughs> uh, hi, hi, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I'm yes, very yes. Glad, glad to see you all here today uh, in the International Mother Tongue Language uh, Holiday. Uh, I, I would like to thank uh, the readers in my session, session hall. Uh, I would like to thank Vina Janner. She made a great reading. She says that she's only 12 years old, a girl from Sri Lanka, but she uh, made a great reading ve very well. Uh, I would, um, and so I would like to um, thank all the teachers, uh, Vinnie Bear, Uri, Nadia, uh, to, and all, all the other uh, teachers uh, that I can see here uh, for coming today and for um, discussing and congratulating with, with us, uh, everybody, uh, this uh, holiday. And... Um, Oh, there are so. Uh, tell me, please. Uh, did you did you like uh, this song? Uh, would you like to uh, see uh, this? Would you Would you like to read uh, the whole this whole song from the beginning to the end of the story? Did you like the story, boys and girls? Okay, you can say or just uh, you know give a reaction like a sum up. Yes. Yeah. Did you okay. like it? Do you like it? I... Yeah. Netum is rising hand. Netum, please say something. Netum, do you like the story? Netum? Those who like those who like the story, you may yes, you may uh choose in reactions choose a thumb up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay, I would students like, and teacher. I would like to clap uh, to clap all the readers. Yeah. You made a great reading. Mm -hmm. I would like to say so because in my breakout room and teacher uh, Aza, Aha, and also some students, they're from Indonesia, 
from from different countries, Sri Lanka. They did a very good job. We enjoy this story a lot. Thank you. Thank you, teacher Nadia, and all the reader and oh, teacher. Thank you to everyone. Yes. yes. So over to you. So before we end, don't forget that our little scholar, Pari, she will share what does the peace pie look like? <laughs> okay. So over to teacher, teacher Uri. Okay, everyone. Uh, I share the certificate link for today's participants. So don't forget to generate your certificates here. And I think it will be a valuable uh, uh, document for you that uh, you were you are attending the station. And we are really thanks that you are attending the station. That's why we uh, share you the certificate for all participants. And the winner, Kahoot, also will get the different certificates. Uh, I think Miss Emmy will proceed in uh, within a week. So I will uh, forward it to teacher Nadia or directly, directly to the teacher that I know. And please, uh, previously, uh, there was someone who wrote the phone number on the name. Please, uh, what's your name? Because you are in the fifth uh, position of Kahoot. So please write your name on the chat box. So the if you would, mysterious yeah. one got a phone number. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> mysterious one because. So so if we uh, otherwise uh, we could not proceed your certificate. Yeah, if we don't know your school, so maybe we need to just uh, move on. Uh, give the certificate winner to the next one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> or we just post a telephone number. Okay, no time for. Mm. No. Yes, okay. uh, Parishi, time is yours if you want to share something. Okay, yeah, Parishi. Mom, should I share the photos? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, teacher Uri, please. Yes, should Parishi. I share? Yes, you can. Can you? Yeah, just a second. Okay, great. So in my in my imagination, I see the piece of pie. Maybe it's it's a uh, a rock, right? They say they mold it. Yeah. So I see maybe it's like a flute or like a rock. So what's in your mind? Yeah. What does it look like? Yeah, I'm curious that maybe I will Google that. What kind of the sound that mm -hmm. piece pie? Why it's uh, so magic and amazing that only use the sound, mm -hmm. they can combine all the tribes. And I would like to thank Nadia. You really always the best top teachers that I want to learn. Thank you so much. Yeah, mentor, <laughs> informative. Yeah, yeah, really mentor of the global educators. Yeah, today we share so many knowledge about the language, mother language day. Yeah. It's from Bangladesh. Yeah, Bangladesh, they initiate. Okay. So, uh, Parish, is that a picture you want to show us? Ooh. Yeah, oh, thank you. Picture. Okay, would you like, yeah, introduce that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like, this is a photo of a man. Uh, he is using the peace pipe. And mostly, most pe uh, peace pipes, there are feathers and something like that. And there is a one opening, a big a circular opening like this. And here we can blow the air. Uh, so these are few types of pipes. They are, uh, I don't know, like the magical, but today I came to know this. Oh, so it's like a, it's like a, a pipe? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but the design is something curious uh, to know about. Mm. Wow. That's so beautiful. Yeah, I oh thank you, Parish. Thank oh, you. thank you for your uh searching. Thank you, Parish. Yeah, 
like a teacher first say that because today you are uh, interested about a topic so that's the that's our intention because today we just have a limited time so after today's session if you are interested about uh, you know how a story and also the mother language day so definitely you could use the digital tool to find more that's our purpose here so I think before we move on or end the session, any teacher would like to say something? Teacher Amy, teacher Helen, or any other educator, teacher Nimara is here. <laughs> I just or say teacher thank Nadia, you. or teacher Helen. Yeah, teacher I Helen. Say, yeah, thank you so much. I just wanna say thank you to all the participants who joined in my room. It's, it's supposed to be room six. They're really great at reading. So thank you so much. I'm waiting for the next session. Mm. <laughs> yes, yeah. Okay, any other educator? Okay, so before we end, I would like to say thank you for participating. Last week, uh, remember, we have a uh, some bear day. So February 21st is also the International Bear Day. So I think uh, we, we, we are here together to promote the awareness. So after, like uh, we say, after joining the session, keep on what you are interested. For example, you can, uh, you know, still like a study on language day. And also don't forget to keep promoting, you know, protect the bear endangered animal in your planet, in your country. So we will move on, still have a more animal story in the future. Okay, so if I may, uh, any other educator or student would like to say something? Okay, if no, I would like to end or present a video from my country. So today's session talking about the language, not only the language we speak, and also there are some like Aboriginal, you know, indigenous language uh, in your country. So after today's session, you can also think about your indigenous culture how many uh, indigenous people language they are. So in my country, we have a very, you know, we also have a cultural diversity. So I would like to play a song uh, sing by our uh, the indigenous uh, kids. So they sing in the highest mountain, uh, Jade Mountain in my country. So the language uh, is their uh, indigenous uh, language. But anyway, the meaning, the, the, the song is about welcome and making friends globally. So now, if I may, I would like to present uh, the song for all of us uh, friends you are here. Okay, so now let me share my screen. We call clapping your hands. Okay, so is that, do you see my screen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, we do. Okay, so these are indigenous uh, kids. Uh, they are just uh, climbing up to the highest mountain in my country, Taiwan. The mountain is uh, about, I think it's about 4,000 meter tall. Just imagine that you are there in the J Mountain. Enjoy the heat. So clap your hands, welcoming, all join together. Now, yeah, this is a very uh, popular and
sorry, yeah, any flag, any nationality, any country you are from. <laughs> That's it. Bye. Ni hao. Greeting. <laughs> okay, I will stop sharing here. Huh? Like the song, waving and mm -hmm. saying hello uh, to you. <laughs> uh, mom, uh, last year was so nice, Okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Who want to say something? Mom, me, Parishi. Nice. Uh, okay. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. As a message in chat, so in India, there are a total of 270 mother tongues. Oh. You, you mean different indigenous? Languages? Yeah. Very nice. There are different religions and they have different lang uh, languages. So there are total 21 official languages, but in India, there are a total of 270 of mother tongues. Wow. wow! So you should cherish that. Yes, if you speak yes. different language in you you speak different language. Maybe at home with your parent, grandparent, you should cherish that. So yeah. thank you, Parish. And also, we see who want to speak. Hasini, 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 oh, Hasini. please. You want to speak? Please. Very please nice. Say something. Very nice. Ooh. Okay. Thank well, you so much. And Sanadi, right? Um, uh, yes, Sanadi. It's a great and interesting meeting that I joined. We talk about our mother language and some other things. Uh, we, mm -hmm. we divide in breakout rooms and we make some friends. Uh, yes. I, I see... Yeah, definitely. You are in the session. Yeah. Uh, uh, there is a get, get, Gega? Gega? <laughs> Sorry. Yes, uh, Udandi. Yes, Udandi. Uh, today's session is a uh, wonderful, and actually, I learned lots of word. Um, and there's a uh, story is very beautiful, and I love it. And thank you for all of teachers for joining this class. Thank you so much for joining, Dandi. Thank you to the credit goes to team, teacher Olga, teacher Winnie, teacher Nadia, teacher Amy, teacher Freud, uh, teacher Helen, uh, teacher Ezzy, and all teachers. So I cannot mention one by one, so sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, I request Winnie, so ma'am, to <laughs> say uh, namaste. In yeah. <laughs> namaste. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And welcome. I think it's today is your first time, right? So definitely do join. We need you. <laughs> okay. And every yes. student and teacher definitely come next time. Uh, okay. Yeah. Before we end, we still have a Vinujana. Sorry. Teacher Uri Pak. <laughs> Vinujana. Vinujana Pereira. Yes. Yes. Please. The floor is yours. Yes. Vinujana, please unmute. I need to say thank you for teacher Olga and all the other teachers it was a lovely session I love it thank you oh thank you so much oh I, I can recognize your voice you are Katiana Pereira <laughs> yes. Class over, yes 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 it's over dear so you may yeah 